What's up guys, this is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So, let's run off up on last time, we have captured Konigsberg, we have fought a large battle outside of the gates of Warsaw, and we are now laying siege to the city itself, where all within will fall beneath our might. The enemy are reinforcing with some quite elite cavalry units actually, 7th Horse Guards, and the 5th and the 6th, plus some heavy horse howitzer artillery. But nevertheless, we shall destroy them, because we outnumber them significantly, and I very much do not want to call on this army, because they're pretty depleted. And without further ado, let's crack on. So the settlement fortifications, so... We will, they will apart, um, but this is a thing we don't already know how to do. The idea is this city will go, this army will go in, capture the city, the reinforcing army, a bit of a buffer zone, and the reinforcing army could actually uh, get into a better position to, can actually get into a better position uh, to support the city in further pushes. Without further ado, let's set up our, set up our guns. So we want our janissaries. It's my Janissary Grenadiers, my hand mortars to go in over the wall, and probably another unit of infantry. And they can all go here in the woods and be hidden. And I'll also drop two cavalry over here just in case. And then this, this unit of Sipahi can stay here. Then we've got four units of infantry plus some light infantry to push in to the city once the breaches are made. And the breaches will take a bit of time to make because we only have two sets of guns. This is very much a field army. Let's get you guys up top. These howitzers that are currently dropping. Ooh. Get one to drop shell right here if it wasn't too late. Oh my, oh my. chief problem is these guns need to get into position onto this ridge line so they can actually fire their guns and what we want to do while these guys set up is target some of these men like this my actual line of troops will push up somewhat just ahead of my main line. These are only 18 pounders. They're not it's not they're not great artillery. But they're good enough. Oh no, I thought oh. so you notice that these are improved settlement fortifications? That was a lie. So these guns aren't gonna be enough. Notionally. Don't know quite why they're aiming at the middle. Uh, but my quick climbing how it says, by God, they're going to do drop some hurt onto these guys. <laughs> so here come the reinforcements. Guard de corps, Cressier guard. Unit of. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. And there's their heavy horse how it says. However, the Prussians will die as easily as other men. And we don't actually have any howitzers in here to worry about. So I might actually push my... Push these units up. Because right now they've got no one facing us. I mean, these gunners are a bit outnumbered. See, look, they're not even firing. Two, two 18 pounders should be enough to do a fair amount of damage. Two batteries. Especially as the quick climb comes in again. Oh god, that would have been a good hit. Some good hits on the walls as well. They are taking their toll, aiming at our gunners. 
this unit is getting pot shots at our men over there. Let's get you to hit that unit of provincial line. Actually, no, let's get. Focus. Focus fire their heavy cavalry. Because they are a concern. Their horse artillery are not forming up. They're still on the move, which is good. Yep, here comes their horse artillery. Get the skirmishers to deploy stakes. I did notice they have charged. So it's a whole line of quick climbing artillery. And they're mostly aiming at the ones to the rear. So let's see how uh, they're probably going to get to my. We will still do some good damage, even if they do hit to my, get to my guns. I was okay with a suicide charge because they're going to lose a bunch of men. Nope, you guys don't charge into them. That's what my heavy cavalry. That's what my heavy cavalry reserves are for. There they go. These traps drop into square. Although you're probably going to want my my guard over here as well. They've killed some gunners, but not enough to change the calculus. Uh, we will want to retarget some of these guys to hit the men on the walls. And we're probably going to want to bring. you guys into the mix quicker than we would like. Oh man, that's a good hit. General Street Grenadiers, get out the wall. And there's our infantry. Actually, you hunker down while these Grenadiers take the wall. Hand mortars just form up at the base of the wall for now. Semi Janissaries can climb up here. Hand mortars, get out there. Cavalry don't really have a use at the moment. Here comes more cavalrymen. I'm not quite sure why you guys aren't firing. You should get some good shots into the back of this household cavalry unit. Okay, let's pick our targets. Get one gun to start bombarding the centre of the town. There goes the guard de corps. And this house of cavalry should be getting picked apart by the light infantry, which it is. They are going to start to charge out from the breach to attack my men currently scrambling to the uh, to the walls you guys did fire too bad I didn't see it really can't see everything though Go, you may attack the provincial militia. There's a handful of Swiss pikes, but they're not worth worrying about. Well, that's the mortars firing over the top that missed. They're landing over here. They're aiming at the wall, and the arc is carrying them over. So you better come in and attack ground. Or you'd probably put them here, fire them at the walls and let them- Oh, quick lines gonna kill a bunch of my own dudes! I'm sure we targeted you guys. Okay, 
get these guys in. Get my Sapahi in. I can hear light infantry firing their guns. I can hear the pew pew pew. Okay, these guys, their job is to capture the gate. Semat Janissaries, just run them down into the gate, into the, uh, run them down to the courtyard. To fire. Bull. You guys stop firing. Just hear all these explosions. Let's get you guys over here. To be honest, let's get this light unit. Charge the heavy horse howitzers. You guys just scale the walls up here. Sapahi so hit the uh, howitzers. Let's halt artillery fire because right now it's causing us more problems. Okay, let's charge my janissaries into the center. Charge you guys down the steps. Just ignore these last provincial line. You guys, these grenadiers can continue to kill them. It won't take long to wipe them out. The Semat Janissaries are going to really help because the Pahis are charge cavalry. Well, charge cavalry is a bit of a weird way describe what I'm saying but point is they are oh, that's the light infantry they're mountain Jaeger but now they're fighting against foot infantry in a battle to the death ah, and the garrison has broken and fallen good stuff the city is ours there we go we the power of the Austrians and the Prussians to a degree. There we go. So let's fix government chamber, army staff college, Royal Observatory, Naval College, and the gunnery school. Set you guys to replenish as many men as you need. You're in range to be of use, but you, we might get counterattack somewhere. But right now, I think we've got a pretty strong line here. No one can cross the river without crashing into the U. You might be... It might be worth... Well, they're a bit close. Um, when this army's done, I'm probably going to sail them around and probably try and land them. Amsterdam would be interesting. I mean, they're already rebelling. But that would be quite an interesting flanking run. We do want... Cairo to put a garrison to hit Valletta, then onto Tunis. And we also want you to come down here because this is a Prussian first rate ship of the line, which we want. We're going to take that ship into the serve of the Sultan against their will. There we go. It's worth doing because ships like this are expensive and I'd very much like to be able to just uh, capture theirs. Rather than have to make my own. I mean, I'm churning out quite a decent navy. Um, but opportunities like this, where I've got such massive naval superiority, 
it's so worth capturing enemy ships like this. Um, but I've rambled about that um, very, very frequently, so I don't think I shall do so again. I probably do need... I could probably get away with stationing my navies further westward than I currently do. And we do still have those offensives in the Americas to remember. Um, I've not forgotten those, although it might feel like I have. Straight at them. Well, you are going to be round shotting the hell out of them because you're a first rate. You can take a bit of punishment. The seconds are going to start trying to knock out masts. See if the, the, the lead guns are firing. It's probably not even the correct term. I think chase the chasers. I think up front. Putting some holes in our mast. But I don't want my ship to fire their broadside yet. So I want all my ships to break off like so. Chiefly because they have no real means of responding. See, this way, we get to fire our guns first. Just. You guys can reload. This chap, much better, much better, I sort of. You fire as she bears from the stern. hope the, uh, the skill of our sailors is greater than theirs and we will reload faster. Sadly not, just missed out. But we're going to fire all our guns at once. sail there you go Batashi Bakatashi Mustafa with a broadside she's on fire so if he does not stop engaging us she will explode so this doesn't just this doesn't completely destroy her Ship of lines being hit, knocked out one of the guns. But our first three ship of line can take the damage while the rest snipe out of range. Don't have, don't have a whole lot of guns. Is she routes? Oh, she's wavering. Oh, hit the main mast of those three guns. do with actually is 
something like Chain Shot to just put some holes in her mast. My first rate's on fire, so she will take damage. But it's a worthwhile trade to get a broadside into the side of the... ...the ship prior. Okay, we're not, we've not got that many guns, so I'm going to fire now. Okay, sail with the wind. Time. Keep pivoting. You close range. We're going to fire our right hand broadside. The fireballs turned on. close. You guys need to get close to try and knock out some of the sails. The reason why I'm so obsessed with knocking out sails is because I do not want her to be able to flee. There you go, she lost two sails. Main mast was collapsing. She's now ours. Granted we've, we could have, but I want her. The ship is ours. Sail back to your dock. Sail back to the dock with your first rate ship of the line. Captured. Repair as many ships as, as you can. Are my ships here being repaired? No, that's a job for next time. Uh, this fourth rate's likely going to be intercepted and probably just promptly destroyed by Topile here, or I could just sail out now and kill him and then sail back. This is going to be an auto. Lost two ships. And the reason why I auto it is because really, I can't be bothered to fight those ones. Not when they're so one sided. And to be honest, I'm getting 59,000 a turn. I can accept that because I'm pretty sure one of those lost ships. Actually, they might have been two good ships. I thought it might have been the fourth rate. Eh. Oh well. But right now, I think things are pretty steady. Let's just check my. Priests are still doing the right things in the right places. Like these guys are still converting. Religious unrest eight is pretty big. See so your this guy is he is waiting to try and flank around the back. Because right now that's a lot of Swedish troops here. So much so we might actually want another army here. Positioned nearby. Um but let's hit end turn. Oh. Yeah, auto power of Maribo. Along march our spies. Up comes our reinforcements. See, if you're Austrian Prussia right now, you're very concerned. Because my strength is growing and growing and growing. And this is why I like having... This is why I wanted to build up those multiple armies. So I could leapfrog. And I could get... Um, you know, one army will have a chance to repair and replenish while another can march on and take the fight to the enemy. That was always my intention. And it is tempting to send an army, or to send a... send an army on a flanking mission. To potentially uh, sow discourse behind their lines. To the south of the Mediterranean, my targets are pretty much set. It is going to be Well, when I hit Malta, I'm going to have to bring in, be prepared to fight against Denmark and Dagestan. So I do want that army that's near Dagestan ready to jump on them. Because Malta is a protector of Dagestan. Oh, more Prussian ships. Yeah, we've got some raiders behind the lines. We'll be able to, to see them off. Oh, the ships are actually pulling back. We are building a navy in the... Well, we're building up a port in Estonia to help grow our naval capacity.
And obviously the battles are... Ooh, they... Nope. Not going to give you military access. No way. Jose. They shan't be alive long. Oh, it's the... Is that the roses or an ambulance? That sounds a bit weird, actually. Eh, hope you guys couldn't hear the sirens, but if you did, there's not a lot I can I can do about that. Um, but generally, this campaign's going very well. Fifty thousand a year, fifty thousand a turn is a quite a significant amount of money. We're able to fully fund pretty much everything we would like to. So we've got some raids. So the very first things you want to do is this fleet here in Athens. Get you guys up to fighting shape. You guys down here are nearly back up to fighting shape. Let's pick up four more first-rate ships of the line. You can stay out there for now because you're not mm, too depleted. Gunnery school in Moscow. Okay, let's pick up a general's bodyguard, but not do too much recruiting other than that. You're recruiting your guns. You've got your camels. Hey, you can now recruit Nizam infantry. <gasps> Cairo Janissaries. Yes, please. Let's get four Cairo Janissaries. And then let's get... Eh. Libyan cavalry is pretty interesting. Just to give this army a bit of spice and variety. But so in mounted Nizam. So I might get one unit of cavalry. And then that'll be everything, I think. Although that doesn't mean I've suggested to me I've got too many Um Too many too many because I would also like two melee infantry. So I'm gonna get one Cairo infantry guard. Just to round out the recruitment pool. Letter of Demands from Poland. Ah, it's because we do not have... We've got a university here, which we don't actually want. Um, let's also check. Okay, so you... So if I take all of you sans semini, can you march out of Courland? You can. You go down to minus one, march up to here. These guys march and join them, and then you guys push on and hit Mr. Steglitz. And then you guys can replenish. Uh, you guys were called into that, which is unfortunate. Let's push up. We want to keep one Pleasure Gardens, but not two. So let's keep the wealthy one. Let's destroy this one. Lithuania doesn't need to be happiness building either, because they're already very happy. Let's upgrade the place of state. Let's upgrade the shipyard to a dockyard, and then send a Semat unit out to garrison it. Could probably send this summit unit over to Courland but it has not quelled the descent so Poland has pleasure gardens here it's got a water power cloth mill farm farm and this area over here the Krakow Krakow let's bring up our reinforcing armies so how depleted are you kind of depleted is the answer to that you're in good nick but i want you to stay in there protecting the city spend some money repairing your institutions and then let's hop over to the americas upgrade the governor's residence let's send one of your fourth rates out to secure demerara and let's 
do a spate of upgrades here. Let's get this region firing on all cylinders, contributing to the might of the Ottoman Empire. Because there aren't really that many targets other than the pirate regions because we're actually allied with Britain and everyone else we're on fairly good relations with, except for this region. Okay. Did we get... Oh, the general's recruiting next turn, isn't he? Yes, he is. Holland. You don't have any religious buildings. You do. I'm probably going to turn this into a religious building. Unless they're very unhappy with us, but they'll really like us when we get rid of the clamour for reform. And our research is coming along nicely. You're going to get a threshing machine. Probably rather you get mass production threshing machine really but i do have lots of farms so plus 15 percent wealth is quite good so dutch guy has ours oh and i do right so the these two chaps that aren't currently doing anything march up to tbilisi recruit you near delhi horsemen to do want to get ready to march on them because Knights of St. John, Protector of Dagestan. So they call in Dagestan and all their protectorates, which does include Savoy, Italian states, Württemberg. Denmark is the big one because they've got... A, they've got an army right here, which we'll need to immediately march in and destroy, but they may then peel some guys out of here and march and start to attack Belgrade. So there's a case to be made Take these guys over here. They can immediately hit Sarajevo. Then once we hit Valletta, we can take Tripoli and then Tunis. And then there's a chance that we will obviously be at war with the Italian state, which isn't good. Learning that's a pretty pansy navy. Um, but I don't think it's going to cause too many problems. So you're building... Okay, till in turn. As my spies continue to stroll on. Alright, what's happening here? Oh, you're in the way. Okay, I've never had that happen. Obviously you're going to raid... This is why I should really have some smaller raiding or anti-raiding armies behind the lines. Ooh. Who is it? Is it you? Because if it is, fighting a river battle might not be a bad idea. Um, but in any case, well, I'll, I'll probably fight it just because it's probably worth trying to whittle down some of these units, especially as they don't actually have much artillery, apart from when the final army enters the field. Um, but it's probably worth doing. Ooh, no, I know where these armies are. They're back here. They're this side of the river. So I'd be sandwiched by... I'm pretty sure it's these two small armies. No, I'm not going. No, I'm not going to risk it. I don't know exactly where all of the men are. Okay, I think I'm definitely going to intercept there because now that it doesn't matter, <laughs> they're just a bunch of nobodies now. I'm definitely going to do that and kill them. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So apologies for not fighting that last battle. Yeah, you can see here there's a stack of Prussians. So I'd be fighting on both sides of the river, which isn't ideal. Really, I should probably push these guys up to about here. Um, but in any case, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for a fairly easy distraction of a smattering of Austrian and Prussian troops, because I'm pretty sure this is just them, and these Prussians are them, which might leave this open for a general advance through here. But yeah, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.